to hear it again from the official source, right? Samsung has uploaded three official teasers of the Galaxy S10, confirming the features that have been rumored for months now. Here's the first tease. It's about the ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanner. It's a 3D scanner, not the 2D one that you can find on the current Chinese phones. There's a lot of controversy surrounding this. Some are saying it will not work with the tempered glass screen protectors, while some are arguing it will. I think it should work. We've seen companies making tempered glass screen protectors for the Galaxy S10 without holes in it. If it doesn't work, why would they even bother making those and taking huge losses that way? The reverse wireless charging feature similar to that of Huawei's but the difference here is that it's actually useful and faster as it has an output of 9 watts versus Huawei's mere 2.5. Final teaser is very interesting as it shows that the front camera can record 4K videos and also has an optical image stabilization. This is a first for a smartphone. True at that time, but Samsung with this teaser confirmed. Yes, you read that right. Google paid almost $10 billion to Apple in 2018 to stay as the default search engine in Safari. Apple is one of the biggest channels of traffic acquisition for Google, and it generates almost half of search revenues from iOS devices, so it's a no-brainer why Google wants to pay them such absurd amount of money. By the way, analysts believe that this number will only continue to grow, potentially leading to a payment of $12 billion in 2019. These are just pure profits to Apple. They don't have to do anything but set Google as the default search engine and get paid $10 billion.